I don't need to take it back yet. We actually have an unboxing today. I'm pretty sure this is something that uh, is from eBay. We saw it on eBay. I was able to work around the PayPal issues because they were from Canada. So here it is. Uh, this is something that I just had to have because I used to have it a long time ago when I decided I wanted to have it in my collection. It's pretty fitting that they used a a stamp. That's a Mark Messier stamp. <laughs> pretty interesting. And you'll see why that is fitting momentarily. And I'm starting to say, now you Canadians and your hockey and whatnot. Well, I, I don't even really watch hockey or, or a whole lot of any sports, really. So. Um, I'm going to require, here it is. NHL Hockey Aces deck. Looks like the cellophane seen better days. But it's basically hockey players on playing cards. I had this deck, this exact deck. I'm pretty sure it's the same exact deck. Back when I was a kid, in 95, 96, and I ended up, I think, selling it at a garage sale or something, and, well, now I got it again. So that is that. That's it for today. Maybe more next week, uh, during the rest of the week. We'll see. At least one more package this week. But that's that. I'll see you next time with more. Hello, I'm going to be the day for it back again with one unboxing. This is from JP Playing Cards, JP Games. Um, and, there it is. <laughs> There is a, I'll pick that out of the way, of course there is the thank you card. It is the new bicycle wind-up deck, designed by the same people as, uh, the, the, it's from the company Spade and Company, as it says right there. Spade and Company, uh, which also previously did the bicycle 100 years war, whatever they were, that was on Kickstarter. It's very nice, uh, simple as you can see for the back design, the top case. But the faces, the cord cords, beautiful. I look forward to checking it out. I don't know why there's a stain there. <laughs> don't ask me about that. I'll see you next time. With more. Thanks for watching. Oh, I'm going to be just a free to back again. Did not get any more packages, but that doesn't mean I didn't get anything. I did go to the thrift store and I, I found a bunch of good decks with a really good score, I think. So let's see what I got. First of all, we got ooh, this one, a bicycle, doobies, it's for an alcohol. I think there's like three other decks. They were all 35 cents each, by the way. I think there's three other decks. From what I can tell, they just ride it back, so unless they screwed me over and it's just a standard deck, I didn't bother to check that. Um... It looks fairly straightforward, but that could just be what comes in. It could just be a special tuck case. Wouldn't surprise me. But it's still pretty really fine. I know it's hard to find. There's three more, at least like that, that are different alcohols, like five star. Um, got local casino. How the hell that happened? <laughs> Uh, Crystal Casino in red. I can't recall if I had red already. I know I had pink and I think I had a light blue or something, but now there's that one. I also found another one. Same casino, except it's a dark blue. This is a casino that used to exist in the city, but closed back in the 90s. After being open for only a few years. We got that. I got a red caravan. I don't think I had any. I had blue ones because that seems to be a more common color. I did have red ones in a bridge size, but not in a poker size. And it's just a aviator back, aviator deck, just a different brand. I figured, what the hey? Got another. Well, this one's a kind of a cool one. It's a vintage USB C, as you can see by the box. And it's a Red River X, which is a local annual carnival. Don't ask me why the logo is a ox in a carriage, but they have rides and games and 
entertainment and stuff like that every year in June, for as long as I can recall. Then there is a casino deck. I think it's a casino deck. I've never seen this before, but it looked really cool. I can see a lot of floors is going, damn it, I want that deck. Look at these, uh, how they cut out the edges here. That could be kind of interesting, but I'm not sure what casino that's supposed to be. But I'll take it. <laughs> that's... All the floristers are going to be so jealous because I got this fancy deck. And I don't florist. And then we got another local casino deck. This one, I'm not sure if I had already. It's a standard border. I know the, I've seen them with like... Actually, I probably do have that one. There's different styles of logos and different borders and stingers. And, ah, I think what the hell. Then there is... The tuxedo, which is another, uh, that's terrible, unfortunately, what is what it is. It's another aviator back, but I wasn't quite sure if I had one already or not. I figured, what the hey? And then I found another one of these unknown casino ones, if anyone knows what it is. Pretty old, that's for sure. I can't recall if I had blue in a box or red in the box before, but I got another one of those anyways. And there is one more yet, and that is a giant face flag, giant face playing card. That's pretty cool. And these are USB C Hoyle actually, the Hoyle products, and it's just a Maverick back, but definitely pretty vintage. But it's a pretty cool find. Not so wider flags, but <laughs> who knows? We'll find out. So that's what I got today. I thought they were pretty good finds. I'll see you next time with more. Next week, more unboxing. Expecting more. See. You.